Breaking news at noon. We've been following all morning on the East X Freeway near Kingwood. A big rig crashed and went up in flames overnight, killing the driver. Traffic was backed up for several miles before rush hour. Now it caused quite a delay for drivers on the southbound lanes near the Townsend and FM 1960 exits. The crash left a huge mess on the highway and right now crews are still trying to fix the damage. Our Janelle Bluda is at the scene right now and Janelle, any timetable for when that will be reopened? Yeah, Rick, we just got an update from Texas. They do think it's going to be a couple more hours. I know that's heartbreaking to hear. We've been out here all morning and traffic has been backed up for hours. Now let me show you this crews right here now fixing that pavement. Uh, the uh, truck, da the fire damaged several spots of the pavement. But let me also show you what else they're doing. They're also fixing this crash cushion. That's where the truck initially hit that caused it to flip and then catch on fire. This cleanup process, though, has not been an easy one. The truck was carrying hundreds of push lawnmowers. Almost all of them were burned in the fire. Getting the truck out of here was almost an easier task than cleaning up all of the debris that's been left behind. That in in itself took forever. Then crews had to clean up the ash and oil left behind from the 18 wheeler. All of that taking about six hours to complete. And then finally, Texas was able to get in there and inspect the damage. They said the fire caused the asphalt to dislocate in about five or six spots in different lanes of the road. They have to fix each of them before they can reopen East Tex once again. But they say the mixture they are using to patch up those holes is fast drying. So they're trying to make it happen as soon as possible to get this road reopened again. However, like I said, they do believe it will be a couple more hours, Reka. All right, thank you so much for that update, Janelle. In the meantime, a crime.